Hi, this is Flash with Handyman Answers. So today I'm sharing a video of a project that we did for a customer when they approached us about building a carport for them, um, inexpensive, you, um, you know, trying to find an awning or something that would work. They didn't want to go the alternative of a full structure uh, due to the expense, because um, obviously building a structure um, to match the house would you know, be ideal in some cases. But in this situation, um, there, there was a budget to work with and um, we were given the challenge. So with some, you know, uh, you know, searching and trying to find a, something that's ready-made, some a carport, like a canopy type carport that was made for the situation, um, we came up empty, um, no, no luck. Um, so then we reached out and tried to find a company that could do a, um, you know, custom build. Now a custom canopy at this size, and we're talking about like 30 feet long and about you know 17 to 18 feet long to accommodate cars pulling in from the side. It's easy to find a carport that's made to pull in through the front, you know, in, in through the short side um, for the length of the car. But, um, but it needed to be situated in a driveway, um, and you'll see in the pictures what I'm talking about, where, where two to three cars could actually pull into the side of this, this thing. The problem with most of them is that there are legs in the way, okay? So to order something custom made, it still ran at about $5,500. So what we did is, you know, basically had her order her own canopy, gave her a link, which I will share on here. Um, and it was a 30 by 18 canopy. It had six, egg, six legs on each side. Now, obviously we had to remove um, five of those legs to accommodate one side. And again, you're gonna see in these photos, um, and we were able to do this project for her um, for around, including the price of the canopy, um, around $3,000. So saved her about $2,500 um, doing this for her. Um, so here are some photos of this project. So as you can see in this uh, last photo, um, one of the challenges with using an awning that's designed to be the other way, you know, have an entrance for a vehicle the other way, is that the sides are too short. And if you see in this picture, because we're putting it, we're actually attaching it in front of a garage, or you know, a portion of it's in front of a garage, um, it has to be raised up, um, not only eliminating legs, but we also have to lift the whole thing up to be up above that garage door. So how we did that, um, we ended up removing six legs. And so there's 12 legs total. We took six legs and we utilized, instead of having to um, make you know, some sort of a post to raise the unit up, we actually used the legs, the original legs that came with it, the six that we removed, we cut down and used those as extension posts for the original. So it ended up looking like it actually was supposed to be and like it was designed that way. So um, that's how we raised it up. Now we have the challenge of strengthening the side to support the fact that instead of six legs across, there's only gonna be one at the end. Um, and you know, obviously it's not designed to support its own weight. So the tubing in this structure or anyone that you would buy like this um, would just flex. I mean, it was okay what we found to go like take one leg out and it was fine. And um, but anything more than that, it started to flex. Um, we started out with um, with inch and a quarter pipe. We put that on and then found that when we pulled three legs, it started flexing. Um, and when we pulled, or actually it held up with three legs. But if we pulled any more than that, the flex was way too much. Um, so we ended up going to two and three eighths pipe. And, uh, and, you know, put that on there, you'll see in these pictures. Um, and 
but when we went to a 30 feet, it still flex that that rigid galvanized pipe, um, which we can't you know flex on our own. You go to a 30 foot span, and it flexes pretty pretty good, especially at the seams. So we ended up then taking that inch and a half pipe and putting it in the middle of that two inch pipe, thinking that we're doubling up you know on the strength somewhat, um, but we still had a flex. Um, how we accomplished. Uh, you know keeping it up there then is we we had to run a cable we had to run a cable from the top of the canopy up to the peak of the, the roof of the house um, and um, and that actually solved it we have um, we just we put a grommet in the canopy so it looked professional um, and you'll see where we secured the um, that the uh, the post to the house as well So the last thing that we had to do is figure out how we were going to secure this. Now, obviously, it comes with plates that we're securing to the concrete down on the ground, uh, minus the six that we removed. So um, in order to really secure this thing, we wanted to, um, since we were eliminating the legs on the, the house side, we decided to attach it to the house. Um, and we used uh, you know, some plates that we found in the plumbing department. Um, and uh, bolted it right to the beam across the garage door um, and that not only held up that end but also secured it so this canopy it doesn't matter what type of wind or anything like that this thing is solid it is not going anywhere and it's it's secure um, and it's up where we need it it's you know and it's secure um, and uh, and it looks professional and it actually looks like it's designed that way So as you see in the photos, um, it was a success. We were given the challenge of building a carport for a lower cost, um, modifying something that we could buy to save on money. And, um, and it was a success. We were able to raise it up, secure it, and remove all the legs. Customers happy, we're happy, and uh, I have a video to share. So this was Flash with Handyman Answers. Happy home repairs, bye.